I collapse on you Coiled legs on the TV blue What you thinking? How you dreaming? Where you dreaming? Eyelids flicker like a TV screen and I collapse on you I collapse on you legs My hands on the TV Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and welcome to DC Diaries 9. I am filming this actually on the day that I'm uploading this video instead of at the beginning of the week because this week, oh my god, I had to do so much for school and I literally didn't have time to vlog. I had so many deadlines, so many like issues I had to fix concerning my visa because I'm staying here now for the whole year instead of only for one semester. So there was so much on my mind that I had to fix that I couldn't really grab my camera and vlog everything. So if you're also in a very busy period right now, give this video a thumbs up and hopefully you will enjoy this vlog and it will give you some motivation because I mean, most of the days I spend studying. So much fun. So um yeah, love you guys. Wake me up in the morning when it's over. I start over then. I fucked up. Good morning guys and welcome to New DC Diaries. Today I have a very busy day filled with loads of studying, which is always super fun. So I'm just gonna make myself a little bit presentable because I look like crap. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and um, start the day and hopefully it will be a productive day because I have loads to do. So yeah, let's start. a little bit sick so yeah I've been just chilling at home and I cleaned my whole apartment and now I ordered some vapianos for myself and I'm going to eat it and then take a bath for the first time in my new apartment and um, watch a series at the same time so I'm super excited for that just gonna pamper myself and give myself a little bit of me time because I feel like I got sick because of um, all the stress because I was under so much pressure I had so many uh, deadlines for school and for work so yeah it feels feels good to well I don't feel good but it feels good to take care of myself for a bit so yeah I'm gonna eat this now it's water game our democracy is vanishing into what? is that what all this is about? just a response to turmoil? Yeah, it gives back Saturday uh, and I had a very very bad morning I look quite happy I don't know why but I actually some things happened today or this morning that really made me very emotional and I just can't believe that some people treat others so unjustly I don't know um, so yeah I unfortunately had some bad luck but um, yeah, I don't want to ruin my whole day because I actually have so much stuff to do for school. So right now I am going to pack my bag because I'm going to law school on a Saturday because I have a meeting with a professor on a Saturday. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go there and we're gonna talk about my open memo. He's gonna like answer my questions and things like that. Um, and um, yeah, after that I'm going to stay in the library and study. Hopefully for a very long time because I need to do a lot. So yeah, that's what I'm going 
to do right now and i'm quickly going to show you my outfits but it's nothing special because i just want to be comfortable in the library so guys this is today's outfit super casual and super warm uh, i'm wearing this wool sweater from philippa k that i really like uh, then i added this super big fluffy coat from zara and i added it because okay this is a life hack if your library is cold but you don't necessarily like to wear very thick clothing because i don't know i sometimes don't like that feeling bring a faux fur coat with you and use it as a blanket that's honestly what kept me going uh, on those very cold library days so yeah i'm just uh, wearing this coat to use as a blanket later and then uh, i'm wearing my jeans from monkey favorite jeans ever and also my boots from alexander wen and my book bag is from bershka it's just a faux leather tote bag and it fits so much um and yeah i'll link everything that i can find down below so always check out the description box and yeah now it's really time to go so guys uh, i just finished my schedule for today uh, and of course i use my supply by lily student desk planner i still love this thing so if you don't have yours go get yours at supplybylily.com and uh, shipping is international so for next week i've written down all the things that i don't need to forget also i filled in the inspiration part and this week like it's different every week and this week it says this is what makes me feel motivated and i said the fact that i know that i'm going to succeed despite what others say and honestly it's literally what i needed because i just told you i was feeling so down and little things like this just make me feel motivated and lift my mood very happy that i feel a little bit better because of something so small so um, yeah i also packed my bag and um now it's time to go <laughs> very quiet or class to my meeting it's very quiet here so I feel kind of comfortable talking to you guys because usually I don't vlog here because there are a lot of other students okay uh, let me get my wallet it's so cold outside by the way it's crazy just a couple days ago it was so warm like 25 26 degrees celsius and now it's super cold oh my god guys i just had my meeting with my professor for my open memo and it went so well i'm so happy yay you can imagine, but i know you finished a library session and right now it's 7 p.m. I did have a break of an hour because I went to grab some food at Sweet Green but I didn't vlog it because I forgot <laughs> I was so hungry and uh, right now I'm going to Whole Foods buy some food snacks for tonight and um, this evening I'm going to edit because I have to post a new DC Diaries tomorrow so uh, yeah kind of tired but not super super tired so that's a good thing but now it's time to go into the dark and the cold that sucks oh. hey guys so today is a super super special day for me because on this day 13th of november and then three years ago I actually published my very first blog post. Yeah, three years ago, this whole like being on the internet journey began for me. And 
I mean, it has definitely been the best decision I've ever made in my life. Sometimes I still cannot believe how much it's changed my life. It's so funny or ironic, I don't know how kind of one small thing, me pressing on that button to publish my very first blog post, which is still online by the way, if you want to see all my old and very embarrassing blog posts, you can all find them. But um, it's so funny how that one action, that single action of me publishing that blog post caused such a wave of effects. I definitely explained it better in the caption of this Instagram photo. Um, if you want to read it, check out my Instagram, which is lilylike.com. But yeah, um, three years ago it all started and I'm so, so thankful and so grateful for everything that happened and each and every one of you. Thank you so much for all of your support. I honestly could not have done it without you, so thank you. Um, right now it is, let me show you, 13-13 on November the 13th. So much 13th. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, I haven't vlogged in quite a bit because I actually became sick and I lost my voice. I'm not sure if you can still hear it in my voice, but yeah, I completely lost my voice and now it still sounds kind of like a man that smokes too much. So excuse me, uh, hopefully like during this vlog my voice will get better. Also, I went to the hairdressers yesterday and it's more gray now again. Um, unfortunately, the roots turned out super purple as you can see, so I didn't really like it and uh, I kind of regret going and I hope it will get, um, like it will wash out uh, quite quickly because I washed it already once and it's already a little bit better, but still, I think this is not a good job and someone is calling me. Hello? Hi. Hey girl. Sorry, but they wanted to take pictures and stuff and like it was just crazy. Oh my god. Is it the last month? Is it like the take a picture with the picture? What the hell? <laughs> He's crazy. <Yeah. laughs> and I'm quickly going to show you my outfit and then I'm gonna go. So this is today's outfit and as you can imagine the weather has drastically became colder in DC. So yeah, I have to wear winter stuff now. So I'm wearing my acne scarf. I got this scarf, I think like two years ago already and I still love it. My coat is from Zara, also from two years ago. Uh, my sweater is from H&M and this sweater is very recent. So I'll link it down below. And I have a white shirt under it because I think it looks cute. My leather leggings are from Zara and my shoes are from Alexander Wang. So yeah, that's today's outfit and that's it. Hey guys, so I'm starting this vlog a little bit later than I wanted to. It's still officially morning. It's like 11 a.m. a.m.? Yeah, a.m. I have two deadlines for very important research papers. 
tomorrow. Uh, I have one that is for graduate legal independent writing and the other one for my international human rights for women course. And I'm kind of dying. <laughs> so disclaimer, be prepared to see a lot of footage in this vlog of me stressing out over my writing skills. Also, I quickly wanted to tell you guys that I haven't really been talking about my grades and I thought it would be interesting for you guys now that I'm studying somewhere else, a different university, what my grades are. Now, I don't really have um, a lot of grades back. Now, I only have grades for this course called Legal Research and Writing, which is a one credit course, so it's not difficult. I mean, it's... <laughs> Not that it's not difficult, but it's like relatively not a very important course. And um, the final grade consists of a lot of like, I think like six smaller grades. But I got an 8 out of 10, a 10 out of 10, another 10 out of 10, and a 9.6 out of 10, which was for a closed memo assignment, which I'm super happy about. So uh, pretty good grades. Hopefully I can finish it with an A or an A+. Plus. Because uh, I still have three grades to go, I think. So it does feel very good that my English writing skills are good enough for law school here at George uh, Washington University. So that's, that's really nice to know because I was definitely nervous about that. Um, yeah, so um, I'm rambling and I don't have time to ramble. Till I collapse on you Keep having dreams that it's just me out again I keep having dreams that make me cry Oh, what am I supposed to do? It's getting harder to be close to you I know you try, but what if you change? Hey guys, uh, happy Saturday. Uh, right now I'm actually at the National Gallery of Art in DC. It's super pretty here and I'm actually going to have a nice brunch. Hey guys, so I am now here in the museum. It's so pretty. Oh my god, I am very into kind of romanticism, a renaissance when it comes to art. Um, definitely more of a realist, and I don't really like post-modernism. So this is like completely up my alley. So guys, before I'm going to end this DC Diaries number 9, I wanted to, to first of all, um, thank you guys for um, all your lovely comments and messages regarding uh, my previous DC Diaries. Uh, at the end of that DC Diaries, I kind of had a little bit of a philosophical moment and a lot of you actually really enjoyed listening to that. So, um, yeah, your love is greatly appreciated. And on that note, I also wanted to share something with you guys, which kind of is in the same field of interest. Um, it's a little bit different um, and it's very personal. So, um, this week 
I actually published a very personal blog post called My Experience with a Compulsive Liar. Now, I've never talked about this before on my YouTube channel or my blog or whatever because um, it has to do with a relationship that I had a year ago and um, yeah, that's just something that I like to keep private. Uh, most of you can probably respect that too. Um, although I share my life on YouTube, I still really appreciate my privacy. <laughs> Um, but this was something that I wanted to write for myself um, as closure because I'm the type of person that processes through writing. Um, that's honestly also how I started writing my blog. I just saw it as my online diary to process my emotions and feelings and help me feel creative and inspired. Um, but the reason why I published it is because I wanted to spread awareness and I wanted to help others recognize their situation if it's similar to mine and hopefully they can escape that situation faster than I did um, and yeah just help people be more educated and aware when it comes to compulsive lying because um, yeah, my experience was definitely quite um, quite heavy. I think it will always be in my memories that I had to go through something like this, but I'm trying to just conclude that chapter of my life. Um, so if you're interested in reading three and a half thousand words about that situation of mine, um, the link is down below. Um, and um, yeah. Um, on that note, I want to end this DC Diaries. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. That means a lot to me. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let's hit that 160,000 subscribers next. That would be awesome and you can definitely help me out with that. Um, follow me on my social media. Recently, I've been posting a lot on all my Instagram channels and that kind of stuff. So um, I'll link everything down below. And I hope you're having a good day, night, morning, whatever. So I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. You know I dream of sweat,